Today's lesson is called How Instagram is Changing Our Lives. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. I am Roger. Today we're talking about something called Instagram. Which is a platform, a computer program, an interface that a lot of people use. I understand to look at photographs and videos that other people have posted, or you could post photographs or videos yourself. There you go. That's what Instagram is all about. It's kind of like Facebook, but you pretty much tell your story entirely through photos. Sure, people can comment on your photos and stuff like that, but the main thing is to put up pictures of things that you've seen, places you're going to, food that you're eating in a restaurant and stuff like that. You post these things, you tell people about them, and the picture is the most important thing. Whereas with Facebook, it's a mixture of things. Your timeline's important, but you can put photos and videos and text, anything you want. Whereas with Instagram, it's all about the pictures, or at least that's my take on it. I'm an old guy now, so all of these social media platforms, they've started to run together for me. There's Instagram and Facebook, and I've also heard things like Snapchat and stuff like that. I don't even know what that's all about, but hey, Instagram, it's here, and Instagram apparently is changing our lives. Instagram is impacting the world around us. How about that? All right, folks, with that, it is time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. How Instagram is changing our lives. Do you have Instagram, or IG, as it's more commonly known in Taiwan? If you do, you're in good company. With more than 1 billion people around the world now using the photo and video sharing app, Instagram is transforming the way we live our lives in both good and bad ways. transform. The chef added some extra herbs to transform his meal into a culinary delight. Transform的字尾加上ation,则可以成为它的名词,transformation,指蜕变或改造。所以可以说, it was amazing to see the actress's transformation when they used makeup to turn her into an old woman. 当看到造型师利用化妆让女演员改造成老婆婆时,大家都感到相当惊艳。Okay, everybody, let's discuss the contents of today's lesson. Let's ask this question. Do you have Instagram or IG, as it's more commonly known in Taiwan? So have you downloaded this app onto your smartphone? Or are you using it on your computer at home? Do you have Instagram or IG, as it's more commonly known in Taiwan? Hmm, now, I am checking my phone right now. The answer for me is no, I have not downloaded Instagram. I don't have it. But now that you're saying IG, I see where IG, that abbreviation, comes from. Instagram. IG. And I also see how people in Taiwan might like to say IG instead of Instagram. Yeah, Instagram's not the easiest word in the world. Further, it doesn't really have a meaning outside of this app. They kind of made up this word when they developed this app. Speaking of apps, by the way, which is a word that is short for application, very often here in Taiwan, people call apps APPs, and they do that for the same reason. Saying application is kind of a hassle, and saying app as well is kind of a hassle because that word has no meaning outside of its shortening of the word application. So we've got apps or APPs, or we've got Instagram. You wouldn't call that IG, you just say IG and leave it at that. Now, I started all of this off by saying that no. I do not have IG, I do not have Instagram, but that doesn't mean 
that you shouldn't download it, okay? I'm an old fogey now. I don't have any new or cool stuff. And apparently, yes, I'm kind of alone here. Everybody else is downloading Instagram these days. So yes, if you do, if you do have Instagram, you're in good company. Anyways, if you do have Instagram, you're in good company. What does this mean? Well, it means that you're not alone. You've done something or you have something, let's say, that many other people have done or have as well. You've done something and others have done it as well. And usually when you use this phrase, you're making it clear that, yes, you've done something and somebody else, often somebody more important than you has done the same thing or has the same thing. For instance, you dropped out of Harvard to start a company? Well, I wouldn't have done that, but you're in good company, I guess. After all, both Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates dropped out of Harvard to start companies on their own as well, and things seem to have worked out well for them. Or, for example, I could say, oh, you're from Taiwan. Well, you're in good company. Lots of kids from Taiwan are studying at this school as well. So in any case, yes, if you have Instagram, you're not alone. You're in good company with more than one billion people around the world now using the photo and video sharing app. Instagram is transforming the way we live our lives in both good and good. And bad ways. So there you go. The first paragraph introduces our topic for us today. And this uh, final sentence here gives us lots of information. There are more than one billion people around the world using this app or this application for your smartphone or tablet. And what kind of app is it? Remember, we don't say app outside of Taiwan. We say app. For short for application, and it's a photo and video sharing app. That's what it is. It's an application that allows you to share photographs and to share videos. There you go. So earlier I said when you're on Instagram, the picture is key, and that's true. But maybe I should have been more general. The image or image is key because you can put photos on Instagram and videos too. Yes, it's a Photo and video sharing app, and yes, I talked about this word earlier. App. This word is just short for application. It wouldn't have existed if applications never came to be. But very simply, an app is an application. It's a computer program that runs in a certain way or serves a specific purpose. Now, it used to be that apps were. Programs that ran on iDevices like the iPhone or the iPad and stuff like that, but now this particular word is used very generally. You can have Android apps and you can have apps on your iPhone. In fact, if you are running、uh, Mac OS on a Macintosh computer, the programs that you run are called apps or applications. So this word is everywhere. Anyways, here's a good example sentence. I've decided to delete the Facebook app. From my phone. Well, that won't do you any good because you can still access Facebook just by going through Google search. But in any case, here Instagram is transforming the way we live our lives in both good and bad ways. So transforming, it's changing our lives, and we're saying it's changing our lives or transforming our lives in good ways as well as bad ways. Some of you might be asking, what? Bad ways. It can only be good, but we'll discuss some of the negative aspects of Instagram and the positive ones in just a second. But right now, we're going to move on to the next part of our lesson. We'll listen first. First, let's look at the positives. Since anyone can post their photos, write a review, and share their experiences for free, Instagram gives people a voice, whether or not they're rich, famous, beautiful, or powerful. If you use your account wisely, you can launch a social movement or even a lucrative career. Authors, designers, photographers, food stylists, and fitness experts have all earned enough money to give up their day jobs by promoting themselves via the app. Second part, we see launch. This verb is the verb to launch, 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 to The country is launching a campaign against human trafficking. This country is launching a campaign against human trafficking. This country is launching a campaign against human trafficking. This country is launching a campaign against human trafficking.
。我们可以说 ，Welcome to the launch party for our new line of electric toothbrushes. 欢迎来到我们最新电动牙刷商品的上市派对。再来，我们看到形容词 lucrative， 指生意、活动等的、赚钱的、获利多的。举例来说 ，Bonnie received a lucrative job offer from a prestigious advertising company. Bonnie 获得一家著名广告公司优渥待遇的工作机会。又或者说 ，The NBA team offered the college basketball star a lucrative contract. NBA 球队。向那名大学篮球明星提出一份利润丰厚的合约。接下来，我们看到一个单字 via， 这个字也可以念成 via。这个字是个介系词，指透过、凭借或经由。例如 ，A representative from our office will contact you via phone or email。我们办公室的代表人员会透过电话或电子邮件联络你。另外，如果在 via 的字尾加上 a b l e， 则会变成形容词。可以用来形容可实行的，所以我们可以说 ，The new bus line offered a viable alternative to driving to Megan's office. 这条新的公车路线提供除了开车前往 Megan 公司之外的替代方式。Okay, everyone, Instagram is here. A billion people around the world are now using this particular app. How cool! Yes, Instagram is here. It's popular, and it's also transforming the way that we live our lives in both good and bad ways. And yes, first, let's look at the positives. Okay, let's look at the benefits of Instagram and how this app is good. Okay, so let's look at those positives. Since anyone can post their photos, write a review, and share their experiences for free, Instagram gives people a voice. Whether or not they're rich, famous, beautiful, or powerful, so it's kind of、uh, democratic here. Anybody can participate in Instagram. Anyone can post your photos. Anyone can write a review of those photos or of someone's video. You can, you know, post your comments on that thing. That's what a review is. You could also share your experiences. Oh, this weekend we went to Geelong and we had a wonderful time. Here are all the pictures of our trip to Geelong, and you can do all this stuff for free. There's no charge at all. It's free. Instagram therefore gives people a voice. Whether or not they're rich, whether they're rich or poor, whether they're beautiful or ugly, or powerful or not so powerful. So indeed, yes, it's democratic. Anybody can participate, no matter what kind of person you are. There you go, and there's more. If you use your account wisely, you can launch a social movement or even a lucrative career. Wow, Instagram is quite cool. Well. It's cool for now. Soon we'll get to the drawbacks, but for now, yes, launching a lucrative career. Hey, on Instagram, that sounds pretty awesome to me. Anyways, here we've got the word career to talk about. When you're talking about your career, you're talking about your job, the job that you do to support yourself financially throughout your life. Okay. Usually, though, this career is going to be a well-defined profession that you have. You might be a teacher or a lawyer or a doctor or something like that. Usually, you wouldn't say, "Oh, yeah, my career is that I'm a short-order cook. I flip burgers at a diner." That really wouldn't be a career, but You could be a chef. That could be a fantastic career. Anyways, for example, you could say you are well suited to have a career in photography. Yes, based on your portfolio, I think you would make a fantastic photographer. I originally wanted to have a career in photography, but I kind of gave it up for broadcasting. But in any case, here, yes, you can use your account wisely to start or launch a social movement, like trying to get people to walk to work or something like that, or to, you know, use. Uh, more environmentally friendly products, or something like that. That can be a social movement or a social cause. Or yes, you can start a pretty high-paying career. Lucrative means high-paying. Authors, designers, photographers, food stylists, and fitness experts have all earned enough money to give up their day jobs by promoting themselves via the app. Interesting. So yes, indeed. If you're an author, if you design things, if you take pictures of something, or if you're a food stylist, or you might be a fitness expert, which there are a lot of on YouTube. I've watched a lot of videos of fitness experts telling us how to lift weights properly, how to lose weight, and stuff like that. That all has to do with fitness. 
or how healthy you are. And they've all earned a lot of money from Instagram by getting sponsors and things like that. And they're able to give up their boring old day jobs. Boy, that was a dead end job in that office. I'm so glad that I started an Instagram account, and I've got lots of likes and people following me, and I've got lots of sponsors. I am now rich, and I can say, "Take this job and shove it. I'm not going to work for this company anymore." There you go. Who ever heard of a fitness expert? Getting rich. Well, now it happens. If you have a good Instagram account, or you post good stuff that people want to watch or people want to look at, you can get rich even as a fitness expert. How about that? Yes, here we have the word fitness. When we use this word, we're talking about a person's physical condition. If your level of fitness is high, you can say that you are healthy. You're in good shape. Or you are fit. You can say you are very fit physically if you have a high level of fitness. For example, you could say your level of fitness needs to be quite high before you can attempt a triathlon. Anyways, folks, with that, it is time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. With the help of hashtags, Insta has also created an easy way to find information and inspiration. For example, a search for hashtag #bookstagram can help you discover good reads you may never have stumbled upon otherwise. Other queries can help you find dinner ideas or get aid in learning a language. But perhaps best of all is that Instagram can act like a community. You can reach out to users with similar interests and make new connections. The third part, we see a word inspiration. 这个字是名词，指灵感，给予灵感的人、事物。像是 Nancy found inspiration for her poem from watching a dolphin swim by the boat she was on. Nancy 在看到一只海豚游到她搭乘的船旁边时，得到写诗的灵感。而在 inspiration 的字尾加上 a l， 则可以成为它的形容词 inspirational， 指启发灵感的或鼓舞人心的。我们可以说。The pastor delivered an inspirational message during his sermon. 牧师在讲道中传递鼓舞人心的讯息。最后，我们看到名词 query 用来指询问、疑问。例如 ，Our company had a booth at the trade show, but we received only little query. 我们公司在展场上有个摊位，但我们收到很少询问。另外 ，query 除了当名词之外，还可以当动词使用，只对点点点表示疑问。举例来说 ，the boss queried the accounts that Jimmy applied for because it seemed unreasonable. 老板对 Jimmy 申请的账目提出疑问，因为看起来太不合理了。Okay, let's take a look at the next part of our lesson. It's the final part of today's lesson. With the help of hashtags, Insta has also created an easy way to find information and inspiration. So, of course, a hashtag, of course, is like that tic tac toe symbol Jing in Chinese. And of course, there are hashtags all over the place. I guess they help us find things on Instagram. If you click on a hashtag. It takes you right there, and we've also got the word Insta. I guess that's short for Instagram, and this particular platform has made it easy for us to find information and also inspiration. If we see pictures or videos, we might be inspired, or we might get some ideas about doing similar things ourselves. So, what do you mean by that? You guys might be wondering. Well, next we'll give you an example of what we're talking about. For example. A search for hashtag Bookstagram can help you discover good reads you may have never stumbled upon otherwise. How about that? Now here we've got this phrase to stumble upon something. If you stumble upon something, you find something, or you discover something by chance. Okay. For example, you could say he stumbled upon a hidden tomb. Ooh. Ooh, this sounds scary. Or if you're wandering around Taipei or Gaosheng or Taichung, for that matter, you might stumble upon a really nice restaurant that you didn't know about, and you'll have a great meal there. You could also stumble on something. You could also use that preposition as well. So yes, otherwise, in different circumstances, you would not have found a good read or a good book to read. 
And、uh, I guess there is that、uh, hashtag on Instagram to help you find something interesting to read. Now, other queries can help you find dinner ideas or get aid in learning a language. So here, query is a word that refers to a question that you have, especially if you're asking somebody who's in official position, if they work for a company or something. Or if you're asking someone in the government, that might be an official query, an official request for information. Wow, Instagram can do it all. And get this: there's even more. The next sentence says, "But perhaps best of all is that Instagram can act like a community. You can reach out to users with similar interests and make new connections." So here we have this phrase to reach out to. And、if you reach out to someone, let's say you're trying to make contact with them, so that's the idea here. To reach out to someone, let's say, is to try to establish communication with that person. Absolutely. So so far today, we've been talking about the positives or the good things about Instagram, and there are plenty of them. But to be fair, we need to talk about some of the negatives or some of the downsides, and we'll do that in our next program. But for now, everybody, we're going to listen now to our Chinese teacher. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课文是关于 IG 如何改变我们的生活。同学们有在用 IG 吗？在台湾啊，大家常常把这个 Instagram 简称为 IG。那 Instagram 这个字，它其实就是用 instant 即时的，还有 Telegram 电报，把两个字合在一起。那么 Instagram 它除了可以当名词，也可以当动词来表达说，说在 Instagram 上面发文来发 IG 照。我们还可以在 Instagram 后面加上形容词字尾 a b l e， 把它变成 Instagramable 来形容值得上传 IG 的、值得发 IG 照的。好，那我们就顺便来多学几个跟 IG 有关的字汇吧。第一个叫 Insta Famous， 它是拼作 I N S T A。F A M O U S， 那这个字就是由 Instagram 跟 Famous 结合在一起，用来表达网红的，通常就是用来形容在 IG 上面出名的，因为 IG 而出名的。好，第二个单字 Influencer， 我们知道 Influence 它有影响的意思，那么 Influencer 我们从字面上来看，意思就是影响者。它就是用来表达在社群媒体里面粉丝数很多啊，具有广大影响的人，就像我们中文说的意见领袖啊，或是社群名人。好，那么第三个呢，我们来学 fake follower 是什么呢？ follower 是追踪者， fake follower 就是假的追踪者。我们也可以说 ghost follower 幽灵追踪者，也就是假账号啊，幽灵账号。那有些人好像就用这种假账号来帮自己的粉丝人数灌水。好，再看第四个是 sponsored post， 有赞助的剖文，那就表示是叶配文喽，也就是由厂商赞助用来宣传产品的贴文。好，第五个 filter 这个字当动词，它有穿透或是过滤的意思，那么当名词可以用来指滤网或是过滤器。好，用在 ing 里面或是用在我们照相的功能里面，它就是指滤镜喽。好，再第六个 caption。Caption 就是用来指 IG 照片上面附的这个文字说明。再，你可以用 handle 这个字。Handle 是什么呢？它当名词其实有头衔、昵称的意思。那这是口语的用法。它跟 nickname 绰号这个字很相近。可是 handle 通常是用在别人不知道真实身份的情况。我们就可以用 Instagram handle 来指 IG 的用户名。好，再学一个是 hashtag。hashtag 同学们可能很常用啊，它就是主题标签、井号标签。当我们在社群网站发文的时候啊，你就可以用这个井字号的功能跟别人贴文串联在一起。那我们就顺便再学一些 IG 常见的一些热门主题标签，像 hashtag o o t d 井字号 o o t d 就表示 outfit of the day 今日穿搭或是本日穿搭。或是你用 hashtag o o t n 就表示 outfit of the night 今晚穿搭。好，还有人会用井字号 b f f 来表达 best friend forever 死党啊、闺蜜或是好妈咪，或是用井字号 shoe fee 是什么呢？它是用 shoe 鞋子搭配 selfie 自拍合在一起，就是鞋子自拍喽。
。好，还有一个也很常见，叫做井字号 Y O L O， 这其实是指 You only live once， 人生只有一次，也就是要大家及时行乐，活在当下的意思。好，以上是这些重点整理，我们回顾一下单词吧。App. This dictionary app has the best example sentences, and what's more, you don't need to be online to use it. Transform. The movie transformed the traditional story into something completely new. Launch. The mayor has launched a campaign to add more green spaces around the city. Career. Sadie has decided to pursue a career in the finance industry. Fitness. The week-long competition is expected to be a serious test of each athlete's fitness. Via, Randall learned about the event via a friend who was planning on going to it. 